Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 7th of February 2019. Article on Zero Hedge written by Tyler Durden. Two million syringes still missing as San Francisco drug addicts outnumber high school students. In an effort to reduce infection and disease transmission among injection drug users, San Francisco handed out a record 5.8 million free syringes last year about 500,000 more than in 2017. The drug of choice among the homeless appear to be heroin during the day and methamphetamine at night to stay up, said Ellen Logan, who heads the city's syringe access and recovery program. Logan said on average, an addict shoots up three times a day, but some people do more. Hmm. There's just one problem. Well, more than one. Despite spending an extra $1.8 million last year in an effort to retrieve needles, the San Francisco Chronicle reports that the department handed out about 2 million more syringes than it got back, many of which are now washing around the streets of one of the richest cities in America, along with the feces of their users. There is an opioid epidemic in this country, and San Francisco is no exception. Deputy Director of Health, Dr. Navina Baba said, boy, she ever bright, huh? The problem is particularly visible in the Tenderloin, where police reported more than 600 arrests for drug dealing last year, and where 27 suspects were booked in county jails for dealing drugs in the first 20 days of the new year. None of this should be a surprise. Free needles, among many other factors, have enabled the San Francisco injection drug addicted population to soar to 24,500. That's probably but 10,000 shy of being accurate. An increase of about 2,000 serious drug users since 2012, the last time a study was done. That's about 8,500 more people than the nearly 16,000 students enrolled in San Francisco's Unified School District's 15 high schools. As the Chronicle notes, while City Hall solidly supports the free syringe program, the proliferation of needles on city sidewalks and parks was a major issue in Mayor London Breed's mayoral election last year, one she promised to clean up. Wasn't Gavin Newsom the mayor? of San Francisco when all this crap was going on? Hmm? Huh? What did he do? Squat. Now as governor, what do you think he's going to do? Squat. However, needles are still making their way into the city's parks and onto the sidewalks. The city's 311 call center received 9,659 calls complaining about needles citywide in 208, up about a third from 2017. Nonetheless, the department claims things are improving. We are hearing from people that it looks better out there. Really? <laughs> How can it look better out there when you've got so many more drug users than you had previously? Huh? <laughs> there, and we are glad that these efforts are making a difference. What efforts? What efforts are making a difference? Uh, you bring in more drug users than by giving them free needles, you jackass. There is a silver lining, though. Hmm. It is notable that the number of opioid overdose deaths has remained essentially flat for the past four years. How is that even remotely possible with fentanyl on the scene, which is a hundred times more potent than heroin? Hmm? This is absolute bullcrap. That's what this is. And finally, summing up all this virtue of signaling feces, dodging needles, sticking wealth inequality. Folks, this is absolute bullcrap. Once again, with fentanyl on the scene, people are overdosing. They think they're buying heroin. And their systems can't handle a hundred times more potent. Boom. They die. They're giving us smoke and mirrors, but people that are awake know the truth. And Governor Newsom, what a joke he is, huh? Pretty boy. 
Guy used to be an alcoholic for Christ's sake. You think he's going to make a positive impact to the state? Like Jerry Brown did? This guy is Jerry Brown on steroids. This guy's got presidential ambitions. You think not? You're not thinking. I'll attach the link. Take a look at it. You see photographs of needles strewn all over the cities. Absolutely crazy. But hey, it is what it is. Thanks for listening.